Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. It's time for another video and today we're looking at what's called Clipboard AI. And Clipboard AI is a new product from UiPath. In fact, it's so new that it's not even out yet. It's out in what is called a public preview. That means that there might be glitches and features that aren't quite implemented yet, but it also means that you can try it out for free. So without any more delays, let's just have a look. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go into the UiPath website. And I have included the link to this exact page in the description below. So you go into the page, you basically just click try it now. You will see that it downloads and I've cheated a little bit. So I have the download sitting here on my desktop. So you double click the installer. You accept the license agreement, click next, click install. And in just a few seconds, you have installed the product and you can click finish to complete the installation. So Clipboard AI loads and you'll see it as these icons at the top of your screen. So the basic idea behind Clipboard AI is to supercharge your copy and paste operations. So you can, for example, copy data from an Excel worksheet into a form that you want to fill out, or you can copy data from an invoice into an Excel sheet. So you get all of the invoice data in your Excel sheets. And I'll show you how to do both now. So what I have here is basically an Excel worksheet with some employee data. And then I have this form that I want to fill out with that employee data. So what I want to do is I want to select all of the data in my worksheet, go up to Clipboard AI, copy the cells, and then I want to go over to my form here, and then I want to paste it. And what happens when I do that is that you get what is called the mapper displayed. And the mapper is basically something that shows you a preview of the data that it has found and where it wants to paste that data into your form. So the full name field over here has been matched with the name column from our Excel worksheet. And the department uh, radio buttons here have been uh, matched with the department column from the Excel worksheet. And of course, language is spoken, language is spoken, age, age, higher date, higher date, and salary to salary. So all of this actually looks pretty good. You know, it's found some values that do sort of make sense. So if I click paste here, what it'll do is paste all of that data into the right uh, fields in my form. And now it's basically done pasting for the first employee. Now I can click save over here and that will clear the, the form. And then it has automatically moved on to input row two out of three. And if I click paste on that, then it's going to paste that data into the right fields again with the new data. And now we're done with the Jennifer Olson data. Now we can save that. It clears the form. We can see that it has now moved on to the last row, Carl Brown. We paste that in and it happens. So Clipboard AI enables us to copy from one source, in this case, a tabular data source, such as Excel, into a form destination. And it will figure out how to match those fields. And if it doesn't know how to match the fields, you can do that in the mapper. And let's have another look at the mapper because you can do some pretty cool stuff in there. So I've cleared the form again, and we still have that same data here. Now, if I uh, select the data again and copy the cells, select our form window and paste into that, it's going to show us the mapper. And that, by the way, is an option you can set if you want to have the mapper shown every time. So what we can do now, for example, is we can take the salary. And if we hover over it, we can see that there's this little transformation or transform value button. And if we click that, we get another text field that we can enter something into. And it even gives us some hints as to how you can transform this data. And you can see up here that it says USD, US dollars to euros. We could do that. We could also convert to another currency. So we will convert this from US dollars two Danish crowns, DKK. And once I hit enter, it actually does a live conversion of that data. So when I paste this data into uh, the form, it's going to transform that data. Okay, so I just changed the, the form a little bit so that this field that used to be a list of the languages spoken by the person now simply defines whether or not the person speaks Spanish. And also this field that used to be the age field now defines whether or not the person is really, really old. And really, really old is defined as being 
older than 50. And I can say that because I'm really, really old by this definition. So I'm not shaming anyone. I'm just saying they're really old. Old is not bad. It's just, it's just old. Okay, good. So we'll try and now copy some data into this field, but do some slightly different transformations than what we did before. So I'll, um, I'll select the data over here in my Excel sheet. I'll copy the cells. I will go to my form. I will paste into the form. And now it'll show us the mapper again. And now we'll make some slightly different changes. So first of all, we can go to the higher date here. And, and I don't like this date format. It has the month, then the day, and then the year. So we can change that. Click the transform value button. And then we can define that we want this uh, month, month, day, day, year, year, year format to now be day, day, month, month, and then year, year, year. And if I hit the enter button, we'll see the result of those transformations right away. For this speaks Spanish field, we'll indicate that we want to use the languages spoken field to actually retrieve the value. Then we'll click the uh, transform value button and then just simply write thus, Employee speak Spanish. And we'll see that it will actually, since this initial value has English and German in it, that means that this person does not speak Spanish and then it will type that into the field when we're doing the pasting. And finally, is the person really, really old? We will still use the age field from the Excel sheet, but we will do a transformation asking is employee older than 50 and hit the enter button. And then that will be answered in this case by no as the initial value of 39 is less than 50. So the answer will be no. So if I paste this data into my form now, we will get some slightly different uh, data than we did before. We'll see that Joe Miller does not speak Spanish. He is not really old. The date format has been transformed into this, let's call it more European uh, date format. And the salary, well, that has not been transformed because we didn't do that currency conversion uh, this time. So we'll just click save, paste the next set of data. And we will see that this person, Jennifer Olson, actually does speak Spanish. She's uh, 51 years old, so she's older than 50. That makes her really, really old. And we will save her data, then paste the last uh, data set. And that will show us that uh, Carl Brown does not speak Spanish, he's not very old, and employment date and salary and all of that. So this is just another way of copying and pasting, as you can see. But I want to show you one more example. So I'll close these two. And I'll open this invoice I have here, and I'll open this orders Excel workbook. And the orders Excel workbook, well, that's completely empty. I will just resize things and place them as I want here, like that. So now we have the order here on the left and the Excel workbook on the right. So if I now go into the order here, sorry, invoice here, and then um, copy the window, then I go into my uh, Excel workbook and paste the data. It's going to show us the mapper again. And now it shows us all of these fields that it finds in the PDF document, as it is in this case. Invoice number, it looks like it is the right invoice number. The invoice date, is the correct date, due date is correct, vendor name, addresses, all of that, it has actually done that and done a very, very good job of, of finding that. And then at the bottom here, it has the table items and those are the line items in the invoice. And it has found apples, oranges, and an office chair that looks like it's correct. It has found quantities, unit prices, and line amounts. So before I paste this, this data, I just want to make clear that all of this data, the header information for this invoice, they are not enabled. So they're going to be ignored when I paste into my Excel sheet. And I want that. I just want the uh, line items. So I click paste data and it pastes the description, quantity, unit price, and line amount of these products in this uh, invoice. And it, it gets them perfectly this time. And in fact, if I do it again, so I just select my uh, PDF window here, copy that, go into my uh, Excel sheet and paste once more. It's going to show me the mapper because that's what I've opted that it should always show me the mapper. And then when I paste the data, it's only going to paste the data and not 
the data header because that was already there. So this is just one example that there is some intelligence in this product that it actually kind of knows what it is you expect from it when you do these copy and paste operations. Now, there are some features I haven't shown you, and there are even some capabilities that I probably don't even know about yet. But I'll do a deep dive once the product is released. I don't know when that will be. I don't know what the pricing will be like. Um, but I do know that there are some features that will be really, really awesome. For example, you'll be able to select what uh, machine learning model from the enterprise uh, platform do you want to use so you can increase the likelihood of success when you're extracting data from or copying data from, for example, uh, plain text documents or semi-structured documents, stuff like that. It's really, really, really well thought out and it will integrate very nicely with the enterprise platform. And I'm sure that's, you know, you know, on UiPath's mind when they release this stuff, I hope they'll make the pricing very attractive because that integration with the enterprise platform will probably help move some customers into the enterprise platform. And I like that as a consultant. That's how I make my living, not by making YouTube videos, trust me. So without any more uh, chit chat, uh, let's, let's just move on. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, hit the not notification bell, and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Take care.